In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to record Playwright automation test using CodeGen using the command prompt or terminal. So let's navigate to the VS Code now. So simply we here we have to enter the one command called npx followed by Playwright and followed by CodeGen. So here I have opened a fresh terminal. So here we have to use npx followed by Playwright and CodeGen. So if I hit enter after entering this particular command, so this will open up two windows. One is browser and second one is Playwright inspector. So let's hit the enter. So let's wait for a few seconds. So you will get the, if you see here, so it has opened the Playwright inspector and it has the sample test and also it has opened the browser also. So let me give you a overview on manual scenario. Then we will record that manual scenario by using the Playwright automation tool. So firstly, we will navigate to the youtube.com and then we will search with API testing by test stock. Then once we got the results, we are going to click on the playlist called API testing by tester stock. Then we will validate the title of the playlist. So here I will enter the first URL. Here I'll say youtube.com. And then in the search text box, we are going to enter API testing by tester stock. And then, so we have to click on the this particular search icon. So before we click on this particular search icon, we will verify whether this search icon is displayed or not. So by using the assert visibility. So simply I will select the that particular element after clicking on the assert visibility. And if I open the Playwright inspector, so here you can see the code got generated. So firstly, it has navigated to the youtube.com. Then it is entering the search text box. And after that, it is going to verify the visibility of the search icon. Now I will come back here. So we have to click on the search icon. Let's click on the search icon. And once we got the results here, in the result page, we need to click on the API testing by tester stock playlist. So let's click on that particular playlist. And also we can validate the same code is generated or not in the Playwright inspector also. Here you can see that line number eight is line number eight is generated for the action which we have done on the playlist. So that's it guys. Once we navigated to the playlist, so here we are verifying the title of this particular playlist. So I will verify it by using the assert text. So first you need to click on the assert text and followed by the element. That's it guys. So if I go to the playwright inspector and here you can see that all the code got generated over here, right? So simply I will copy this particular test and I will go back to the our VS code. So under the tests folder, so I'm creating a one spec, fi spec file. So here I'll say record and play test dot spec dot js and I will paste the code whatever I have copied it from the playwright inspector. So here what I'm doing is before we enter anything in the search text box right the line number five. So simply I'm taking this particular locator and before we enter anything in the search text box so we want to click on that particular search text box. So that's it guys. And after that, what I'm doing is, so here I see that in the line number 10, some dummy code got generated. That's the line number 10. Simply I will delete this. And what I will do is in the line number 10. So I'm putting some manual weight so that we can see the execution properly. So that's the reason here I'm using 
page dot sorry await followed by page dot wait for timeout so here we have to pass the milliseconds so here i'm passing 5000 milliseconds that is nothing but the 5 seconds that's it guys and also i will well i will rename the test name as record and play test and i will close the browser which has opened by the code gen and if i close the browser and automatically playwright inspector will be also closed so now the test is ready and let's run the test so it should open the youtube.com then it should search with api testing by tester stock and it should navigate to the playlist and it has it has to verify the text of the playlist So it is uh, taking a bit of time. I think it is got failed. So let's see what is the reason behind this. So it is failing in the line number nine, right? So we'll come back here and let's see the code a little bit. So in the line number five and six, we are entering the search text box. Then we are going to click on the search icon in the line number seven and eight and after that we are going to get the playlist and we need to click on the that particular playlist and at the end we are verifying the text of the playlist that's it guys so what i will do is so simply i will put the some weight after going to the pay sorry youtube.com so simply i will copy the line number 10 and i'll paste it here then I will rerun, rerun this particular playwright test. So let's see this time, it should work fine. So it has opened the browser now. So sometimes if my internet is uh, slow, because of that also it might get fail. So that could be the one of the reason. So again it is coming here and it is getting failed so let me verify it once again what we are doing so let me put another weight after the line number seven because youtube is a heavy loaded application that's the reason it might be taking little bit little bit of time so that's the reason i want to put a little bit of weight so that our test will run perfectly fine so i'm rerunning the test once again so if you see here it is loading very slowly youtube.com and it has clicked on the search icon and it got the results and also it is clicking on the playlist and it should verify the text also so let me check like what is the issue here so it is saying that uh, test is finished because of the because our test should get executed within the 30 seconds so that's the reason so this configuration is done in the playwright configuration so now let's rerun the test because this time everything is working fine and let me remove a little bit of so let me close this run and i will put the less weight here i will say 3000 that means three seconds so i will put 2000 here so now let's rerun the test now so because youtube is heavy loaded application and it needs a little bit of faster internet So that is the main reason behind the failures. Now it should search with search with the search keywords and it should navigate to the results and playlist and it should verify the title of the playlist, right? And if you see here, 
our test is getting passed right so i didn't do much modifications here and also here you can see that our test is our test is getting passed so this is how you can use the code gen for recording the playwright test